as you very likely have heard about by now, Prince Philip died last Friday morning at the age of 99. He had recently been in the hospital and had undergone a medical procedure and, well, did we mention he was 99 years old? It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, a message from Buckingham Palace read at the time, concluding as follows. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will made in due course. Sad stuff, of course, especially when you consider all the lives Philip touched. For the most part, condolences and messages of sorrow have been pouring forth from all corners of the planet, as Philip was the patriarch of arguably the most famous family in history. Fox News, however, hasn't really been focused on mourning the late Duke of Edinburgh. Instead, the polarizing cable network has been focused on getting to the bottom of his death. And, specifically, who is most responsible? According to Fox and Friends co-host Brian Kilmeade, the fault clearly lies at the feet of Oprah Winfrey and Meghan Markle. The talk show legend and the Duchess of Sussex sat down for an explosive interview a few weeks ago, during which Markle slammed the royal family for being close-minded antiquated and just flat-out racist. She admitted on air that she went through a period of depression and even contemplated suicide. Those high up in the royal family refused to help her in any way at all. Again, for the most part, a majority of reactions to this interview centered around Markle's heartbreaking confessions, with very few observers acting surprised over the bombshells she dropped about the royal family. Go watch The Crown and you'll see what we mean. Kill me. However, he sees an obvious connection between Markle's revelations and the death of a 99-year-old man. If you factor in this, there are reports that he was enraged after the interview and the fallout from the interview with Oprah Winfrey, the conservative host said on air this week. So, here he is, trying to recover, and he gets hit with that. Kilmeade even went on to cite Piers Morgan, a man with a very evident vendetta against Markle who walked off the set of Good Morning Britain after being challenged on his bordering harassment of the star. Just think about this, this one thing that Piers Morgan was saying on his morning show is, like, really? Your grandfather's in the hospital, you know he's not doing well, is this really the time you have to put out this interview? Kilmeade asked. And, evidently, it definitely added to his stress. Evidently and definitely. Two words that absolutely go together and should especially be applied to the cause of someone's death. Royal biographer Giles Brandreth, meanwhile, wrote in the Daily Mail, I know from someone close to, Philip, that he thought Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey was madness and no good would come of it. That may very well be true, although it's also second-hand information. But we're just gonna go ahead and say two more things. Prince Philip was 99 years old. These people should be ashamed of themselves. 